Alright, so now in this video, we're going to use this circuit. This is a 555 timer in A stable mode. So, when the output, pin number 3 here, goes pin 1, 2, 3, when the output is high, this LED turns on because it goes to the negative rail. When it's low, this LED turns on because that goes from the positive rail. So you can think of current flowing that way when it's low. And when the output's high, going positive and negative, you can think of conventional current flowing that way. So now, this appears to be going too slow for the meter to do anything. So I'm going to switch capacitors. So this is rated at uh, 47 microfarad. And we want it to go faster, so we're going to use a smaller value capacitor. This is a 2.2 microfarad capacitor. And so, it has less capacitance. It will charge to a certain voltage and discharge to a certain voltage faster based on the resistance that we're using. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. That's a 10 kilo ohm resistor. To charge the capacitor up, current has to go through this resistor, through that uh, this uh, diode to the capacitor. When it discharges, it discharges through this resistor to uh, pin number 7 up there. And then a uh, pin number 6 monitors it, pin number 2 triggers. So in any case, there you can see both LEDs are on, which is impossible for them to be on at the same time. It's just one's on and then the other one's on so fast that they appear to both be constantly on. So now let's look at the meter. We have it set to measure voltage and up to 20 volts. So we're dealing with more than 2 volts. We're using a 5 volt power supply. So now we're going to turn the meter on and it's set to measure DC voltage. To begin with, we're going to hit this button. I think it stands for display. And so one thing you're going to notice at some point it gets to 60 Hertz that's the uh, frequency of the power coming into the house and uh, so pretty sure that's measuring uh, just that uh, stray electromagnetic uh, radiation now we're gonna try to take a reading as we have it now I'm just gonna go to the top of the jumper here where it connects to pin number three and you can see we really don't see anything and uh, the instructions aren't very good for this but it appears you hit select now you can see a waveform because the uh, current in the house is alternating current as you can see it's picking picking that up the, uh, the stray radiation from that so now when we get a measurement now you're gonna see that we First we had a DC square wave and then it dropped down to an AC square wave and uh, they kind of look like squares there and so that's uh, how it takes the reading there and if we want more squares on there seems like you hit that uh, up button a bunch of times there you go it does that there doesn't seem to be any uh, perfect logic to this meter you just kind of uh, have to keep doing something till till you get the uh, result that you want. But there you can see that uh, now we're just down to less less than one whole wave. So I try to get uh, as many as possible. So now it starts off as the DC square wave and then starts going AC. So right now it says it's a uh, 0.031 kilohertz. So that's about uh, 32 hertz. So this is turning on and off, or going high and low, I should say. So each LED is turning on and off about 30 times a second. So now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this diode. So as I said before, we charge through this resistor and diode to charge the capacitor. When the capacitor discharges, the diode blocks the current, but this resistor allows it to discharge into a pin 7. So we're going to remove the diode and now you can see probably that they're flickering a little bit. It's a lot more noticeable in person but they're not flashing quite as fast. 
and we're going to take a reading while we still have the setting where we have it and now you can see instead of square waves we got uh, rectangles so the uh, time that it's high the top there is a lot longer than the time that it is low that's because it's taking about twice as long for the capacitor to charge as it is to discharge and so before we wrap this up I swapped out the 2.2 microfarad capacitor for the 47 microfarad capacitor so using the same resistors it's going to take longer to charge and discharge because it has more capacitance and uh, so to get up and down to the trigger voltages is going to take longer and the LEDs go slower so you're going to notice this LED right now is on longer than this LED that's because this LED the anode connects to the uh, output there the cathode comes here to this resistor to the negative rail whereas this resistor the cathode connects to pin number two the anode up here connects to this resistor to the positive rail but the main takeaway is the output is high longer than it is low which we saw on the uh, display earlier